In the diagram, find the perimeter and the area of the shaded region in terms of R and theta measured in radians. Okay, so we've got our diagram. So we have to first of all find the perimeter. So we're going to need to find that distance and that distance all together. So we're putting labels in O, P, Q. And then first of all, we'll find this distance here. And this distance here is also R because it's the radius of the circle. So finding P, Q using triangle P, O, Q. So we're going to use this triangle here. We're going to find this side here. So we've got two sides and the included angle, so we'll use the cosine rule. So PQ squared will be equal to R squared plus R squared minus 2 times R times R, which is R 2R squared, times the cosine of the angle. The angle is measured in radians, so that's going to give me 2R squared minus 2R squared cos theta. The common factor 2R squared, we'll take that out, we get 2R squared. 1 minus cos theta. Now, um, we got that gives me PQ squared. I need to find PQ. So there's a little trick here that you can use. We know that cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. And therefore, cos theta will be equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta divided by 2. And then if we change the cos theta to a squared, Okay, and therefore we might be able to take the square root of this to get some, a nice value. So we've got 2r squared, 1, substituting now 1 minus 2 sine squared theta over 2 for cos theta. So we've got 1 minus 2 sine squared theta over 2. And we've got 2r squared, 1 minus 1, minus times a minus makes a plus, 2 sine squared theta over 2. Now, 1 minus 1, they just cancel out, and therefore we're going to have 4 r squared sine squared theta over 2. Now, we've got all squares here, 4 r squared sine squared, which now means we could actually find PQ by taking the square root. So, taking the square root of 4, we get 2. Square root of r squared, we get r. The square root of sine squared theta over 2, we get sine theta over 2. So we've got uh, PQ, now we need to find this length here, which is the arc length. So, now finding this one here, PQ, the arc length. The arc length PQ is just R theta, if theta is measured in radians. So the perimeter of the shading region will be equal to R theta, which is, and then we need to add in the area of this, which we've already found, which is 2R sine theta over 2. Common factor of R, so we've got R theta plus 2 sine theta over 2. For the second part, to find the shaded region of this segment, this is called a segment, this here, uh, we need to define the area of the sector OPQ and then take away the area of the triangle OP, OPQ, this triangle here, and then we, that will give us the shaded region. So. The area of a sector measured in radians is a half r squared theta. And then the area of the triangle, we used um, two sides and the included angle, so we use a half r squared sine theta. And then there's a common factor of half r squared, so we're going to get a half r squared theta minus sine theta as the final answer. So this has been a video to show you how to find the perimeter of a segment and the area of a segment. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.